So just a quick video tutorial today showing how do you install a spacebar in your laptop. Now the idea works for a lot of laptops. Some MacBooks are like this, some Dells are like this. Right here I have a Fujitsu uh, notebook A series. And um, when you take out the spacebar uh, as I already done, you go from the side and then you just pop one side slowly and you pop the other side. So um, I've already popped it out from the the, key, the keyboard. Um, <clears throat> but there's a unique scenario right here that I want to show, which I didn't know if I could repeat the same thing if I assemble it and pop it out again, is that uh, there's two of these brackets right here that holds, that stabilize and holds um, the key in place. But sometimes when you pop it out, it uh, it separates into two pieces. Um, and what I want to demonstrate right here is to show you how to put it back together. And there's only one orientation to do so. And again, all models are slightly different, but luckily um, we have um, one to the side to, sh to show how it should look like. So the orientation is always almost one direction. As you can look at this one, um, there's an uh, there is a uh, orientation where this uh, lip right here is upwards. So I have that orientation like that, and the second piece is underneath this lip while I connect. The sides together, one and this side. So as you can see now, it uh, it can move like like so. So I have this at a slightly different angle right now. Hopefully, you can see it clearer. But the to insert this bracket, the orientation there's only just one orientation, uh, and you want the plastic bracket to fit into the top two clips and the bottom two clips and for the Fujitsu you can see that the top two clips were closer together and the bottom or further apart from each other so once again all you're trying to do is insert the bottom and pop in the top so after I have the two brackets right here installed correctly, um, next thing is to insert uh, these other two supports, wire supports that support the keys and they go through these little holes right here on the side. So once again, as you can see, the orientation is that they're different size and then there's an inner one and then there's an outer one. And um, first, you want to take out these wires. You can use a needle nose if you want to. Which means it goes down into bottom location right here. This one is the shorter one. This time I'm not using the needle nose. So after you have that lined up like that, and since I know the top right here is the shorter one and the bottom right here is the longer one, let's flip this around and I just aligned it on top and basically I want to catch the bottom one, then I want to align and catch the top one and there you go.